Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do the demo and review for the Masquerade Mini Palette by Juvia's Place. Like I said, I would do all of the palettes that I own, so here we go. So this is the color scheme. It's got some really bright shades um, in it as well. As always, I have my MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour eye base on my little eyeballs already. So I'm really drawn to these two like purpley blue colors. I think I'm going to focus on this guy here. Um, again, with Juvia's Place palettes, I don't waste my time trying to say the names because I'm just butchering them and it just seems rude. So we're going to do this bright purple, probably this pink here, maybe this pink too. Um, and then I will kind of figure out like what other tones I can do here. I'm going to start with my typical wet and wild crease brush. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to focus most of this at the top. So, um, this shade in the pan, I didn't realize looks a little sparkly. So there's a little sparkle, not really what I was going for, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to use shades I haven't used in this palette before, so that's what we're doing today. Um, as you can tell, I've used both of the neutral sides already, and I've used a couple of these blues, so I really wanted to focus on the purples and the pinks, because I haven't done a look that was pink and purple in a while. So I am going to put colors over it. I'm going to focus on the outer crease and this kind of um, like darker purple here. Kind of looks more pink, um, that's all right. I don't mind. I'm gonna take a brush that has nothing on it. Uh, this is my Lexi 231 brush. And just kind of blend out the sides a little bit. Going back with that brush. I think I'm gonna start with a synthetic brush. Um, I'll probably end up using my ring finger as well with this really pretty purple, but we'll start with the brush just so I have a little more control. Now that is a purple, folks. That's how purple should be. Um, it's very difficult to make a good purple, so I appreciate this. I like that. I'm going to take my ring finger with that purple and pack it on now. Taking that brush with no product on it. And just cleaning this up a little bit. It's all about the blend, folks. It's all about the blend. Now, I could totally leave this look just the way it is, but I don't know. I might want to add some glitter. I know... Glitter is not everybody's thing, but it's my thing. All right, guys, so with the magic of YouTube, a lot of my makeup is on. Um, people keep asking about my brows. I have been using, uh, where is it at? Let me show you guys. I've been using several different brow mascaras these days. Um, today, I am actually using the LA Colors Brow Tint. Um, I really like this one because this is actually like a true black, which is pretty hard to find. I've been enjoying that one, the Anesthesia one, and then the one I got from Ipsy, which I always pronounce wrong, La Butte Fatal. This one, awesome. This is a brow fix tint shaper and the color Dark Burnette. This one is dark enough for me too. So if you guys are curious, I have been putting stuff on my brows, uh, making them look bigger, bolder in your face. If you guys like it, um, let me know. Um, I am going to rim my eyes with the Tarte Inner Eye Rim, which is this brighter shade. I like doing um, like nude liners in the eye more than black. I think it just brightens up my look and I think that's kind of important for me. I'm gonna try to go into this color, which is kind of like, I don't know, um, like a root beer-ish purple. It's a little bit of a warmer color. I don't wanna make my under eye like super dark. My MAC uh, 221 brush go into that same color and just kind of smudge a little more under the eye. I 
All right, so that's the eyes. I have some other bright shades here that I could do for inner tear duct. I'm still debating if I want to do glitter, which I kind of think I do because why not? This is from Urban Decay, so I think I might see how it looks. Um, I'm gonna do like the tiniest amount on the eye and just see. All right, we're definitely putting this on the lid. Wasn't going to, but we are, so. All right, can't ever have too much glitter. All right, I think that's enough glitter. I don't wanna like overkill the look with glitter. I'm gonna go back with that fluffy brush just to make sure that there's not glitter chilling in the crease because we want it just on the lid. Cool, um, I know this isn't in, the palette, but had to do it, right? We'll start with the gold and see if I like that. It's a little too dark, I think, with the gold, so I'm gonna pop this brighter white shade. I have all my makeup on. This is a completed look with a masquerade uh, mini palette by Juvia's Place. I'm just gonna show you guys the colors. Again, um, I love this palette. Like I think if you're gonna buy anything from Juvia's Place, this is a really good palette to purchase because you get some of those blues, those purples, those pinks, and then the neutral shades that um, everybody's kind of into at the moment. Um, I, again, I love the artwork for all the Juvia's Place palettes. Absolutely stunning. The pigmentation is to die for. Not one shadow in here has disappointed me. Um, when I used it. So I love it. And I think if you guys have a chance to pick up the masquerade palette, I would highly recommend it. It's definitely one of my tops for the Juvia's Place. Um, and I think it's a great palette to start with from Juvia's Place just because it has, again, a lot of versatile colors um, that you guys can use. So feel free to check it out. I think it was 20 or $25. They always run flash sales where you can get them 40 or 50% off. I would suggest waiting for that and actually ordering it from their website at juviusplace.com opposed to getting it at Ulta's website. They tend to be cheaper on Juvia's Place websites. Um, as always, guys, I love Juvia's Place and I recommend it to you. I think it's high quality, super pigmented, good eyeshadow. Um, it is amazing. It has definitely overtaken a lot of high-end brands of eyeshadow for me, so I think you guys um, will feel the same about it. Uh, also, I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, please uh, comment down below what you guys want to see next. Uh, like this video, uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday. In that description box will always be my Instagram, so you guys can follow me for daily posts and learn more about me. Also, uh, my website is listed there as well. You can hire me as a makeup artist if you like. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.